Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another OpenGL screencast. This is episode 20. We'll be talking about anti-aliasing. I am David Parker, your host. Let's get started. So uh, nothing's different here with the main. We've just uh, done a little cleanup a little bit. Um, let's go right on up to uh, the top of this file. This is normally stuff that I would put into another file, but um, for the sake of how brief this is, uh, I've just uh, moved the globals into here, just like globals. As uh, well as the window key, rotations, and the draw scene, which we'll get to in a moment. Uh, display is mostly the same. We're going to have the GL color buffer bit, uh, removing the depth stuff um, and the double buffering. Uh, and then draw scene as well. Uh, everything else is uh, pretty much the same. Display project, instead of using GL ortho, we're going to use glut, uh, glut GLU ortho 2D, since this is just a 2D example. And redisplay all is exactly the same. So let's get down into the draw scene. Um, and before we do, actually, let's go ahead and have a demo so that way you can see exactly what's going on here. So let's make this real quick. And run it. And as you can see here, we have uh, lines, two red, two blue, uh, with a white background. And we have the these lines, which look pretty smooth, are the anti-aliased lines, and then these really rigidy looking lines are non-anti-aliased. So we're going to look at how we make really smooth lines. So first we just draw a quad that's the, the white background, doesn't really do much. And then here, this is the setup for the alias line, which is the non-smooth one. So uh, we're disabling line smoothing, we're disabling blending, and we're setting the line width. Um, well, I set the line width on both the same, but... Uh, the anti-alias, though, we all have uh, GLine Smooth enabled, Blending enabled. This is our blend funk. You can take a look at the last screencast if you want to look at those more. And then we're going to use what this is called GL Hint. And what it does is it takes a target and a mode. And there's four different targets we can choose from. Line Smooth, Polygon Smooth, Texture comp Compression, excuse me, and Fragment Shader Derivative. Uh, these two, smoothing the polygon and the line, deal with anti-aliasing. The Texture Compression ends up dealing with... Um, how the textures are compressed, obviously. So uh, if you wanted it to be nicest, they're not going to be compressed as much. A fastest will compress them more. Uh, fragment shaders we may or may not get to later. So modes, GL don't care means we just don't really care how they decide to use uh, line smoothing. Uh, nicest means that we want it to be the nicest quality line smoothing as possible. GL fastest means we want it to be rendered as fast as possible. And then we draw our lines. So really, um, you know, if you take a look at this again, it all, all boils down to about four lines of code uh, that makes all the difference of whether it looks like, you know, really smooth lines or really rigid. So, again, you just want to have the enabled uh, line smoothing, blend in funk, uh, and as well as the GL hint. So, that's it for this screencast. Going to keep it short, and uh, hope you all have a good time coding. Talk to you later. Bye.